Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we will be discussing about duct propagation. So what do you mean by duct propagation? Well, let's find out. So we know that when we consider the Earth's surface, on top of the Earth's surface, we know there is a layer which is referred to as the troposphere, which is present at around 16 kilometers from the surface of the Earth. And above the troposphere, we know that there is another layer which is referred to as the ionosphere. Okay, so what we observe here is that as the height increases from the surface of the earth, if this is ground, so as the height increases from the surface of the earth, we observe the fact that the temperature also increases as we move away from the surface of the earth. So therefore, because of this, at a distance of around 50 meters from the troposphere, a phenomenon happens which is referred to as duct propagation. So what happens here is that in this region of the troposphere, certain high frequency signals like microwave frequency signals, UHF, VHF, so all these signals, when it reaches this particular region of the troposphere, what happens is that it gets refracted by the troposphere and it gets refracted back onto the surface of the earth. So therefore when a particular transmit antenna sends a signal of a very high frequency like a microwave signal or a VHF or a UHF, when it sends it like this and when it reaches this region that is 50 meters above the troposphere, what we observe is that it gets refracted back onto the surface of the earth like this rather than going to the ionosphere and striking the ionosphere. So therefore it gets refracted back onto the surface of the earth. Therefore what we observe is that a particular duct is formed like this. That is, this is the top of the duct and this is the ground. So therefore, a particular duct-like structure is formed and the signal is found to be trapped within this duct. That is, after here it goes like this, like this, like this, like this. It keeps on going. So therefore, this is what we refer to as duct propagation that is the propagation of a signal which has got a very high frequency of the range of microwave or UHF or VHF when it is sent by a transmitter and when it reaches a particular layer which is 50 meters above the troposphere it gets refracted back onto the surface of the earth and then it again goes and it gets trapped within this duct and therefore this particular propagation can continue till around 1000 kilometers that is this can be used for long range communication for around 1000 kilometers so this is what we refer to as duct propagation. So the main requirement of this duct propagation to happen is the temperature inversion. So what do you mean by temperature inversion is that as the height increases from the surface of the earth, the temperature also increases. That is the temperature is said to be directly proportional to the height. This is what you refer to as temperature inversion rather than the temperature decreasing as the height increases. So the waves of very high frequencies are sent and received using this phenomenon which is referred to as duct propagation. So I have written it down. So here as the height increases from the surface of the earth, the temperature increases and therefore at a height of around 50 meters from the troposphere, a phenomenon exists which is called as the duct propagation. So in this region of the troposphere, the higher frequencies like the microwave frequency, the UHF, VHF, they tend to refract back into the Earth's atmosphere instead of shooting off into the ionosphere where it gets reflected over here and comes back to the receiver. Thus, a particular duct-like structure would be formed and hence these refracted waves get trapped inside this duct and hence keeps propagating inside this particular duct. It may even propagate to a distance close to 1000 kilometers. So the main requirement for duct propagation is temperature inversion. That is an increase in the temperature when the height increases. So the waves of a very high frequencies are transmitted and received using this technique. So therefore drawing the structure of duct propagation, if this is the surface of the earth, then if this is the layer of the troposphere that is 50 meters above the troposphere and this then this acts as the top of the atmospheric duct and this is the ground then we observe that the signal would move like this so this simply is what we refer to as 
duct propagation. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you mean by duct propagation and we will be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.